Hey everybody, today we are going to be making a project using sort of these organic or freeform shapes. So this is kind of what my final product looks like and then I'm going to walk you um, through how we're going to make it. And I do want to point out in my final product here, the things are not glued down. But you can glue these down when you're all done if you want to, but I wanted to kind of play around with mine and make a bunch of different ones. So um, when you are all done, you do not have to glue it down if you don't want to, but we are going to take photographs of these so that that is how you will kind of show your final work. So let's go ahead and get started and we will take a look at your steps and your processes. All right, boys and girls, we are gonna begin with a little bit of practice first, drawing these organic and freeform shapes so that you really get a good feel of how to do it when you get ready for your final product. So you can work in your sketchbook like I am, or you can do it on a whiteboard, whatever you feel most comfortable with. When you're drawing these, try not to be too thoughtful about it. Just kind of have your, your marker or your pencil move around randomly and make these shapes. So this one is very rounded and freeform. So maybe for my next one, I'll try to add a few more straight edges just to kind of change it up. You're really just trying to get a feel for making um, these shapes that are not the specific geometric ones that you're used to making. So kind of just try to go random and, and try to make things look interesting and different. And definitely make sure that you have a shape. When the line um, starts, it should also go all the way around and finish back at the start. Otherwise, it's not a shape, right? It has to close up. Um, take a look at this one and you can see this one is so much different. It's got a lot of long and skinny parts. So try to make different things and just see what happens. And then um, when you're ready, we can get your good paper ready to go. All right, so I have three different colors of paper and I do have pretty large ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit off so that I'm not wasting. So just cut a little bit off if you have a big piece like I do and then we can use these. And I'm gonna do two of each color. So let's go ahead and cut this in half two so that I can um, work with my paper just a little bit easier because it's not as big and I'll have um, a size ready to go. Now when you do this, you can draw like we did before or you can just go ahead and start chopping it up. You did a little bit of practice for how it feels. So now that you kind of have that idea, you can just cut into it if you want to, like I'm doing now, or you can also draw it first and then cut into it. I'll do a little bit of both. So as you can see, I'm not thinking, I'm just cutting. But for this one, I will draw it first and then I'll cut. So you can go ahead and kind of do your form that you practiced before. And you can do this for all of them, like I said. Or you can just go ahead and cut them out. Now these shapes are not geometric, so they are going to be a little bit harder to cut. So make sure that when you are cutting, you're paying attention to what you're doing. I always take my non-cutting hand, my non-scissor hand, and have it do a lot of the work. So I have it turn the paper for me so that I'm not turning my scissor hand. When I try to turn my scissors, my body just doesn't want to move that way. So I make my non-cutting hand do a lot of the work. So go ahead and try to turn the page with your hand as you are cutting so that you're not um, having such a hard time. And then when you're done cutting, you can always turn your paper over so you don't see all of your pencil marks. If that bothers you, I know it bothers me. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting these out and cut out two more from a couple more colors as well. And then we'll skip forward and see what we can do with, the, with these. Now I have all of my shapes ready to go. The idea that I'm going to work with now is just rearranging them and composing them so that I can find a design that I like and that I'm happy with. You can use a blank piece of paper to work kind of as your backdrop. I just have um, a notebook that I'm going to use so you can use whatever you have. I'm not gonna glue anything down so you can use whatever you've got. So the idea is that you're just placing now your organic and freeform shapes on your backdrop and you are arranging and rearranging until you get something that you are happy with. Things that you can be thinking about as you're doing this is maybe lumping your shapes together in the center or spreading them out more towards the edges. You could also use all of them or just a few of them. Decide what you think looks best. And after you've done a few, 
then you are going to take pictures of these. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make a bunch of different designs here and play around and then we will take um, some pictures of our, our final compositions. So as I speed up and work super duper fast, I just want to point out a couple of things to you guys. Um, you can flip your pieces back and forth, um, for though they don't have a front or back, they don't really have an up or down either, so you can totally um, do whatever you want. This piece here, I wasn't really just happy with it, so I went ahead and cut it off a little bit so that I felt like it worked better with um, all of my other pieces. So don't be afraid to cut them up if they aren't what you like. I have moved my artwork to the floor and I've got my iPad ready and opened up my camera. Now remember when we do this we want to be thinking about how, what we're doing. I want to make sure my, my camera screen is lined up with the same shape as my artwork and I want to make sure I don't have any shadows in there and I want to make sure it's focused and centered over the paper. I'm going in and editing now and I'm hitting my crop tool on the left hand side and I'm dragging the corners in to get rid of the floor. That's not part of my artwork. And when I'm happy with that, um, I'm going to hit done. And then I'm going to take a, do some more art and rearrange and take some more photos. Here are my final three photographs. So take at least three and then pick your favorite one to submit to Artsonia. I hope you had fun.